and welcome back to the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24, and we are here for game number four of the NLCS between the Chicago Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds. And now, this series has seen a drastic shift after game one, which was won by the Reds in dominant fashion. Both games two and three have been won by the Chicago Cubs, and it's been off the heels of dominant pitching by this Cubs team. So the Reds now return for game number four. They look to even up this series as, of course, for the Reds, if you're going to win this NLCS, you have to go back to Chicago regardless. And we're just hoping we can get this game four because game two is close. Two to one. It was the only close game so far of this series. Game three, eight to two in favor of the Cubs. And really the Reds' offense just hasn't broken out just yet since that explosive game one offering. So the offense looks to get back on track here tonight. Obviously, we did change the difficulty from Hall of Fame to Legends. So I guess that's kind of hurting us a little bit. But again, I'll get used to it at least I hope. Just trying to put more runs on the board than the last few games, and we will have Hunter Green on the mound tonight. We have some lineup changes that we'll talk about once we go over the lineup, and Justin Steele, the lefty, will be going for Chicago, and you know the Reds like to see left-handed pitching. We get all the righties in the lineup, basically, except for TJ Friedel, who stays in in the leadoff spot. So Hunter Green's been good so far in the postseason. Pitch six and a third, 2.84 ERA. Let's see what he does against this Chicago team. Nico Honer comes up first, and that one will be lined Straight to Ellie De La Cruz. One out for Dansby Swanson. And on the one-two pitch, Swanson's going to pop out. And there is one of your lineup shifts. Christian Encarnacion Strand will make the out. We'll have two gone for Cody Bellinger. And right to CES. That'll do it for the top of the first. On the bottom of the first, here's Justin Steele. He's pitched a lot in this playoff so far. 18 and a third innings. 4.42 ERA. We'll see TJ Friedel first. Friedel had a phenomenal game number three. And there you go. Picking up right where he left off. Friedel with a hit up the middle. It's a leadoff single for the Reds. Matt McClain, though, is just going to get under a fastball, and that's really going to be the key for the Reds in this game. It's going to be putting together hits and just getting guys on base. Because here's your lineup tonight. It goes Friedel, McClain, Candelario, Martinez, Steer, Marte, De La Cruz, Stevenson, and Carnacion in the nine. We'll try to steal second here with TJ Friedel, and he'll get in there. So a runner in scoring position for Jamier Candelario, who's betting 419 in the playoffs, and Candy's just going to ground one straight to Dansby Swanson. So we're going to have two outs now for J.D. Martinez, and Martinez is going to get jammed on the inside fastball. Nothing happening with T.J. Friedel's leadoff single. As we go into the top of the second, Patrick Wisdom going to lead things off here for the Cubs. That's going to be a strikeout away on the slider. One down at four, Seiya Suzuki on the 2-2 pitch. Swag, going to miss Hunter Green, 100 on the gun. Up and in, two down for Ian Happ on the 1-1 one -one offering. Happ into left field. There is Spencer Steer. So yeah, uh, Matt McClain, of course, still in the outfield. It'll be McClain, Friedel, and Steer. And then Candelario's playing third today with Encarnacion Strand at first. And then at second, it's no Levy Marte. I know that's not Marte's ideal position. He plays really third and short, but we have to make things work somehow. It's either that or Jonathan India has to play today, right? So we might see India come off the bench later, but the Reds will go one, two, three here in the bottom of the second, capping it off with an Ellie De La Cruz fly out into left field. So the top of the third starts with Christopher Morel. Morel on the ground right to Jamie or Candelario. Again, we've seen Candy kind of shift more to first base. I think next year, I'll just say it right now, I'm not planning on keeping JD Martinez next season as Ryan Noda is going to hit one down the right field line. He's going to look for two. Matt McClain, though, is going to cut him out. Oh, Noda looking to stretch that single into two. He will be thrown out at second base, but just a quick insight into next season as Jan Gomes is going to get one by Jamer Candelario. Candy will likely just be the DH next season because, again, Martinez will be gone at Marte will be at third, and then Encarnacio Strand is at first base. I just think that CES should be better in this game. I don't know. I mean, you know, it's Tyler Stevenson right there is going to pick up a single. It's just that all of Encarnacion Strand's stats are so low. I get, again, he's young, but here he is at the play on the 1-2 pitch. He's got 52 in contact, 61 power, right? Here he's going to ground right into a double play, which negates anything that Tyler Stevenson just did at the plate as TJ Friedel is going to come on and ground out. But yeah, I just find that kind of weird, that Encarnacion Strand, and he just doesn't develop all that well either. I sent him down to AAA just so he could develop. Didn't really do anything. Kind of 
stay the same overall. I don't know. We'll see. Dansby Swanson right there will lead off the top of the fourth with a single into center. Cody Bellinger at the plate. He swings and misses. That is 100% interference on the batter right there. He went right into the throwing lane of Tyler Stevenson, but obviously this game's not going to call it. So runner on second with one out after the strike him out stolen base play. Uh, Patrick Wisdom grounds out to Encarnacion Strand at first. Seiya Suzuki on the 1-1 pitch. His step onto right field right to Matt McLean. So the Reds get out of the fourth inning, still giving up no runs. It is zero to zero onto the bottom of the fourth. Matt McLean levels a baseball. That ball is hit very hard, but it goes straight in the glove of Cody Bellinger. There's nothing you can do about it. We're going to have one gone now for J. Mayer Candelario, and Candy is going to pull that ball right into left field. That's going to be two gone for J.D. Martinez, and Martinez will line one into right field. That ball is going to get down, and it will be extra bases for Cincinnati, something that's been lacking from this offense offense has been extra base hits and JD Martinez is on second base with the double Spencer steer now steps up on the one two and steer I just don't think that ball's got the carry in the right it does not that play will be made out there in right field by Seiya Suzuki we go to the top of the fifth Ian Happ gonna leave things off here for Chicago that ball is put on the ground right to Ellie De La Cruz one out for Christopher Morrell on the 3-2 pitch. Horrible looking swing. Could add ball four instead. He strikes out. Ryan Noda had a single in his last at bat and Ryan Noda breaks the scoreless tie. Deep right field. McLean can do nothing but watch it fly. One nothing Chicago. Ryan Noda 380 feet. Hunter Green's first bad pitch of the game and the Cubs go up one nothing. Jan Gomes steps up and he will ground out to Nolevi Marte playing second base today. There is your third out. But again, the Reds need to get some offense brewing. Marte can hit that ball into left center field, but it just does not have any carry. The ball is dying on us today. Ellie De La Cruz probably shouldn't have swung at that, but he's got 99 speed, right? He should get on. No, somehow he didn't get on with that horrible swing. Tyler Stevenson on the one, two pitch. He's two for two. Two clean hits right back up the middle for Tyler Stevenson. He does really well against left-handed pitching. He'll be on first for Christian Encarnacion Strand. And oh, that's just a nasty pitch. I, I got nothing to say. That's just gross by Justin Steele. You can't really fault Encarnacion Strand all that much on that one. Nico Honer is going to pick up a leadoff single in the top of the sixth. Green still, by the way, pitching. He will strike out Dansby Swanson on the slider out. Now up to the dish, Cody Bellinger on the 2-2. Swing and a miss, slider in. Two gone now for the four spot. Patrick Wisdom, full count offering. A ball on the ground right to Nalevi Marte. Makes a slight bobble, but still collects himself and makes the out. Okay, Cincinnati still down one nothing. Can we get anything going on offense? Justin Steele, though, is pitching a masterclass. Striking out Friedel on the slider away. McLean's hit simply just does not have carry. Two gone for Candy on the one, two. Candelario chops one. Dansby Swanson charging in, and that will do it for the sixth inning. To the top of the seventh, here comes TJ Antone. Has not given up a run so far in six innings. He's been excellent in the postseason and in the playoffs. Seiya Suzuki, oh, just okay. Bounces one right off his dome. Okay, he's down on the ground and he's what is going on he's that okay I, like i understand that hurts but concussion like symptoms i know it, i oh my goodness i know i skipped that one really quickly but man seriously i didn't think that would hurt that bad sam mall is coming into pitch now because anton had to be removed with an injury so just another injury though to our team as a whole make that three suffered in just this series scherzer fairchild and now anton we're gonna get two outs right there though. Morell is going to fly out into left field. We will have two gone now for Ryan Noda on the one-two pitch. Horrible looking swing on the slurve, sets him down. We go to the bottom of the seventh. JD Martinez up first. Oh man, they're giving Justin Steele every single corner. One out, Spencer Steer the batter, flies that curveball into right field. Should be caught though, has some carry, but just not enough. Two outs for Nolevi Marte on the 3-1 pitch. Marte takes ball four. So we have a runner on and the go-ahead run now to the plate. It's Ellie De La Cruz. Perfect, perfect. Oh my goodness, though, straight to Dansby Swanson. I mean, truly nothing we can do about it. Nick Martinez comes in now to pitch for Cincinnati. Yes, he is now a starter with Scherzer being hurt, but he's not scheduled to pitch for at least another three days, so he can pitch at the end of this game because, of course, Brandon Williamson will go game five regardless of this result. Martinez is doing well, though, gets two quick outs, and then we'll get Dansby Swanson to ground out to second. 
All right, on to the bottom of the eighth. Can we get anything going? The former Philly and Astro Hector Nerez comes to pitch for the Cubs. He will see Tyler Stevenson first, who is two for two, and he does it again. Stevenson, three for three, all hits right back up the middle, and pinch hitting for Christian Encarnacion will be Will Benson. Got to get the righty-lefty matchup here, and Benson just gets under a fastball. Very weak contact into left field. We've got one out for TJ Friedel on the one-two pitch. Oh, man. Oh, man. Two gone. Matt McClain, full count offering. He swings at the high heat. Not my finest hour of swinging right there. We go to the top of the ninth. Nick Martinez, of course, still on the bump. He will get Cody Bellinger to ground out. One gone for Patrick Wisdom on the 2-1 pitch. Wisdom into right field. Matt McClain going back, and he will make the out. Two gone now for the five spot, and say a Suzuki on the 2-2. Suzuki lines one pretty far in the air in left field, but there will be Will Benson to put him away. All right, need of a run. Here comes the Cubs closer in Alzale. 1.8 ERA so far in the postseason. Candy at first in the 3-2. Oh, that's a nasty sweeping curve on Legend. One down, four spot up. J.D. Martinez in the 1-1 pitch. Martinez grounds one straight to Dansby Swanson, and the Reds are one pitch away, one out away from being shut out. Spencer Steer in the 3-2. He draws a walk. And just like that, the winning run is to the plate. We are going to pinch hit in the sixth spot for Nalevi Marte. I'd rather have Jonathan India on the spot, I'll be honest. India comes up on a 1-2 pitch, and he puts one right on the ground to Nico Honer. And that's your ball game. Oh my goodness. The Chicago Cubs win on the road here in game number four against the Cincinnati Reds. Just not our best performance at all. We have seen a quick fall off since game number four, sorry, game number one, excuse me, in Chicago. And here in game number four, it is all Cubs on the road. They pitch a shutout. All they needed was one hit and one run from Ryan Noda, what they get in the fifth inning. Noda with the solo shot, again, gives the Cubs enough to win this game 1-0. So the Reds need to find out some way to score, and they need to do it fast. Tomorrow, they will get one more crack at it. If they want to send the series back to Chicago, they need to win. And more importantly, they need to score some damn runs. So, folks, thank you for watching episode number 22 of the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24. If haven't yet, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure you like and enjoy the video. Go, folks, thank you for watching. And Mamba, forever.